Hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to the channel, my name is Rex. In this video I'm going to explain sway bars and what they do while installing a set on my Tamiya TD4 Super Avante. Sway or anti-sway bars, also known as anti-roll bars, are just that. They are designed to control in a measured amount how much sway or roll a vehicle will experience. How does it do that? First, let's understand that the body roll equals weight transfer. Well, the sway bar is connected to both left and right sides of the car via the suspension arms and attached to the center to a fixed point on the chassis. When one side is compressed, the other side also wants to be lifted by the bar. The thickness of the bar is the main determining factor as to whether the car will roll more or roll less. The other deciding factor is the relation of where the link is secured to the sway bar. Closer inwards, and we have a stiffer bar that reacts sooner, farther out, and we have a bar that reacts slower and feels softer. So where do they work and how do we use them? From what I understand, less roll means less steering grip because the car isn't allowed to roll onto its outside tire as much, therefore transferring less weight. But more responsive and more direct handling because more of all of its tires are on the ground. More roll means more steering because it's allowed to roll more weight to the outside wheel, but slower response time because it has all that movement range available and less tires on the ground. So it seems like it's all about finding the balance in your chassis and the way you drive. And that's pretty much how I know sway bars. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of the video.